Hi, my name is uh, Mark Gerhardt. I'm the Chief Executive of JDS Game Studios in Cambridge. My day-to-day -day duties are really just making sure the wheels are turning smoothly as possible. I think I probably describe my, my role most as like a lubricant in the machine, more than a, a gear or anything like that. I've worked with great people in my life, but I've never worked with so many great people in one place at JX. Um, and just being part of that is a real honor for me. I grew up on a farm. My, my folks, my mom was a teacher, but we had a farm as well. So, so they had full-time jobs, but uh, the farm still had to run itself. So it involved yeah, being up at five in the morning, doing two half hours before school, and kind of coming back after school, and, you know, doing another two, three hours of chores. It's pretty full on, but uh, you know, I think it's, it's quite wholesome at the same time. I studied uh, mechanical engineering uh, in Pretoria. In order to pay for it effectively, I needed to do three jobs. You know, I was fixing cars and stuff like on the weekend tractors. Um, I was working at a steakhouse and I was tutoring at the university at the same time. I ended up looking after the university's IT. It was a blessing that I got paid for it. I've never looked back and that, that was kind of my uh, fast track into IT, if you will. When I left, the first thing that occurred to me is, well, why don't I set up my own IT company? I, I was very blessed to get a uh, tender for a hospital system that afforded me the opportunity to uh, pay off my wife's studies. She had been studying law at the same university and uh, take a three-month honeymoon. So we got married, uh, extended honeymoon. I got married very young, uh, 21. Um, and we was like, well, you know, maybe it's time for a family. Um, so, okay. Where, you know, given all the choices in the world, where would we want to have a family? Uh, was my wife's from an English-Irish background. Uh, so England kind of seemed like the natural place on the map where it'd be easy just to arrive, language wouldn't be a problem. It was probably one of the toughest things I've had to do. It, 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 it was terrifying, you leaving friends, family, everything you've known. The easiest option is just to take a return flight back and kind of settle with the life you know, um, but you persevere. I was very, again, blessed to be able to uh, get an e-commerce uh, director role at a company called Cirrus Global. A year into that, I was appointed uh, Chief Operating Officer. That was like 18 hours a day, seven days a week. So that was, that was pretty extreme. It took my dad's, uh, my dad's death uh, to kind of call time on that. So kind of all of a sudden got the reality check, like, you know, what's it about? All those years back, we kind of said, this is a change of life for us. This is, you know, let's go have some kids, grow some roots. So almost immediately, well, a day, I handed in my notice and said, you know, not quite sure what I'll do next, but uh, it'll be different. I'm going to spend more time with my family and everything else. I was approached by a headhunter who said, you know, there's a great company called JX. really like you to come and meet them. I came to see JX. I met uh, Andrew Gower, the uh, founder. This is the amazing thing about JX. So Andrew was looking to step down the CTO so he could be more hands-on. Uh, and I just thought, wow, you know, I, I love people that are just hands-on, roll their sleeves up, lead by example. He was all of that. Jagex was all of that. And I thought, wow, this, this could be it. This is, this is an incredible role. The biggest turning point in my life was probably when Alexander was born. I think that's when the, the kind of the whole universal puzzle fits together. It's been deeply fulfilling. I can kind of start seeing you know, the little personalities there and forming and kind of little human is, is giving you feedback and uh, making you proud and things like that. It's, it's, it's life changing. So when I'm not here, I'm spending time with the family, sometimes tank driving for stress relief. I was fortunate enough a few years ago to be able to buy uh, two tanks from the MOD. Um, and, you know, kind of big Rolls-Royce B81 engines, multi-fuel. We've taken up to Tesco's once. Uh, my wife threatened me with divorce because she said, we live in this neighborhood. <laughs> it's one thing if I know you're eccentric, but don't let the neighbors know.